Alrighty, I'm gonna show you how to add color to this if you want to add color. All right. Typically with Tim Burton characters, the color is very minimal. It's very muted uh, and often very neutral, meaning it can be very dark um, and it can be kind of gray. The color can be very gray. And what I like to do when I add colors, I don't add like a ton of colors. I tend to pick like one or two. Uh, so I'm gonna pick a kind of a teal blue. Uh, and this is, it's a violet. I want a darker blue. Yep, okay, so I've got, I picked two colors that are kind of of the same type for a monochromatic uh, type of theme. So that means kind of one color. Monochromatic is one color and different shades and tones, okay? So you can start with um, having a pencil type of outline or you could shade with colored pencils. I typically don't do that. Um, with this just because it's hard to get a nice smooth look with colored pencils like this, uh, cause they don't blend. You can't use um, uh, like a blending stump or a Q-tip to blend colored pencils. So I tend to do this first and then I go back over with colored pencil. So for the face, if I wanted to add color, um, again, I'm gonna hold it back farther so I can use more of the side of my colored pencil. And I'm gonna go over what I've already got, okay? So, still gonna be dark, right? Cause I've got that undertone, right? So I'm adding kind of blue to my face cause I want kind of blue skin. Tim Burton characters tend to be, um, some of them tend to be very uh, kind of whimsical colors, not necessarily super realistic colors. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding a little bit. I don't want her to be like super blue. I'm kind of adding it to the shaded areas. Okay, so I'm just using the side of my colored pencil. Just starting very light. I can always go back in and add more, but I want to start out very light. Okay. And if you're using Prisma colors, uh, they tend to smooth out a little bit nicer if you have like the blending pencil that comes with a lot of the sets now. They don't come with a lot of the older sets, but it's like a clear colored pencil that helps to smooth out uh, color. But if you don't have that, you can use white like to, help, to go over it and to help smooth it out. Okay, I'm going along the edge, making the edge a little darker blue. Just kind of going back over it. Okay. And I'm gonna go in, like after I have this light blue, I'll go back in with the darker blue and kind of go back over the shaded areas a bit. Okay. So I want there to still be light areas and leaving white on the paper is going to help with that. Okay. I don't want her to be just this solid blue color. It'd be very weird looking in my opinion. Okay, so I'm going around the eyes. With the blue. And again, you don't have to use just two colors. That's just how I do it because that's a kind of a Tim Burton way of doing things, keeping things kind of monochromatic or very few colors being used. And if there are more colors, they're just kept very dull, very gray. Shading around the eyes, very lightly bringing that out a bit. And I know this takes a bit, it takes a while, but again, it's totally up to you where you go with this. You don't have to use a ton of color. You can make the color extremely subtle or you could just like, you know, just add color to the face and not the hair or just add color to the hair and not the face. You wanna make sure you're making this your own. Okay, and remember I'm using the side of the pencil wherever I want it to be light. Using that the side of the colored pencil really does help. And I'm not pressing hard. I can go and spend more time in one area if I like, if I want it to be darker, I just keep my pressure the same, but I just hold, I keep my pencil in one spot for longer and it will get darker. Okay, so 
No. Yeah, in the blue. Go back over to this. Eyebrows. nose more dark on the dark pressing harder on the darker areas going back shading in lightly on the lighter areas so just going over all my shaded areas with the blue Really trying to be minimal, not wanting to do too much. I don't know how to stress that more. Just telling everybody really light, really light, and then you can always go darker if you want. Start light. You don't need to overdo it because it's really hard to erase colored pencil. You can do it, but usually not completely. So keep that in mind. Usually there's still a little left over after you erase. Okay, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna hold it closer because I wanna press harder on the eyelid area because I want it to be nice and dark. Much lighter towards the edge there. And I can go in with my other blue, my darker blue, in the darker areas again after. I like to layer my color to give it more dimension. So I always use at least two. Okay. Going over the outline of the eye. It's already starting to look really cool, so. There's always the option go over everything with colored pencil. And that's what I tend to do. And I'm just gonna shade the face in this demo. I'm not gonna go in and shade the hair because that would take forever. I don't want this demo to be like 20 minutes long. That would be quite the, quite the ordeal to have to watch all that. Shading in more darkly, closer to the back of the eyelid and as it comes forward in the eye, shade lightly. Okay. Just be careful to avoid the hair right there in front. Go over my lines with the blue. What's nice about the pencil being underneath is it kind of uh, makes it darker automatically, which is good. And you can always go in with black as well. So that's something I should probably say. Having a black or a brown colored pencil really does help. I don't even know if I have a black in here right now. My black is missing. Eh, not a big deal. I have so many colored pencils, people. Oh, there it is. They're kind of all over the place. So you can always go in with black if you want to push the dark just in certain areas even more. Like with my eyelashes, I want them to be darker. I don't necessarily want them to just be blue. And then just right on top there. You can get a lot more depth with the colored pencils. Okay. Just like that. I'm gonna go in a little bit on the brows. place that I want to stick out just a little more I can go in and use the black. So I'm going to shade a little more along the hairline area with my blue. My light blue. Kind of using little circles when I shade. Moving my pencil in little circles. Nice and light, except right along the edge. I want it darker, so I should move my hand up a little bit on the pencil so I have more pressure. There we go. Darker along the edge of the face. Okay. Maybe a little 
darker in the cheeks. Darker over that chin shade there. I'm gonna go over the lips with blue and then I'll go over some of it with black as well. I like to give it that duo tone, like I said before. Go over it with the blue first, then go in with black. Okay, black, and this part, oh, there was my pencil. This part needs a little more blue first. Just a little more shading around the lip underneath as well. There we go. Perfect. Now I can go in with the black. I always go over on any features that I really want to stick out. So I can just do like the nostrils, a little black. Eyelashes underneath. Just outline a little bit right there. line of the mouth and some of those lines on the lips and then the stitch lines for sure just a little bit on the line there okay a little more curve okay and maybe just a little bit on the bridge of the nose Okay, and then if I want to, I can go back in with this darker blue now and just go along the darker areas just to give it a little bit of a more blue tone instead of green. This will, again, just darken it up a little. And yes, this is a little bit of a longer demo. I know, I apologize, but it really shows you how color can enhance everything. Okay. Now that I already have that one blue down, I don't have to spend as much time with this blue. It'll, and this one's darker, so it actually goes over pretty quickly. Covers very fast. I'm just going in to give it a little bit of that blue tint. Almost done here. I don't need to go overboard with this dark blue, just a little. trying to be careful around the eyes. Okay. A little bit on the lips. Again, you don't need much. Just a little bit. And that'll do her. And I'm noticing that this part got a little more blue than I wanted. So I'm going to go back in with the teal. And it'll blue it back up. Make it more of that light blue that I like. Okay. Then after a quick outline along the face with the dark blue, we should be golden. Obviously, I'd want to color the ears and everything too, um, but I don't want this demo to get too long. Okay. And then color in my pupils black. Boom. Look how much more striking that is, right? the hair needs a little bit of outlining. The 
blue. So much more striking when we use some color. Or you could just shade with black and make everything even darker. That is also an option. Just know what's available to you. That's why I do all this, just to keep your mind thinking about what else you can do with this so you're not just stuck in one type of design. All right, let me know if you have any questions.